More than 400 years ago, Galileo Galilei became one of the first astronomers to note that the sun's surface exhibited dark imperfections, now known as sunspots. What Galileo didn't realize at the time was that these dark spots were a sign that the sun is a magnetic star. Sunspots appear dark because in these regions, the strong magnetic field limits the transportation of heat to the surface. This process makes these locations much cooler and thus darker in appearance than the surrounding brilliant surface. As sunspots develop, the magnetic field increases in strength and complexity and becomes increasingly tangled. Eventually, for some sunspots, the magnetic field snaps and, in an instant, the energy it holds is unleashed in a brilliant and violent flash. Emerging as solar flares and solar storms, this energy is sent hurtling into space. The Sun is not unique in being magnetic. Most stars in our galaxy harbour a magnetic field of some kind. Although we don't fully understand the processes that create our own star's magnetic field, other Sun-like stars are expected to have similar properties. However, the processes that drive magnetism on some classes of distant stars, such as those that are much hotter and more massive than the Sun, may be very different. But what is known is that solar flares and storms can impact life on Earth in a profound way. Measuring a star's magnetic properties can help astronomers to evaluate how hospitable an orbiting planet might be for life. The magnetic field of a star can be measured through what is known as the Zeeman effect. Chemical elements produce narrow dark absorption lines in the spectrum of a star. When a magnetic field is present, these lines split into triples or even more complex groupings. This splitting can be measured and used by astronomers to gauge the strength of the magnetic field. But the Zeeman effect leads to an additional effect. The starlight becomes polarized. This polarized signal is the vital clue that can be used by astronomers to spot the presence of a stellar magnetic field. By observing a certain star several times while it rotates, scientists can now use these polarization measurements to create actual maps of the magnetism-related star spots present on distant stars. Such images remain impossible to obtain directly with large telescopes, as almost all stars are simply too far away to be seen as anything more than points of light. But thanks to the huge amount of information contained in the polarized signals, we can uncover a great deal about stellar magnetic fields, revealing valuable data that would otherwise remain hidden. Astronomers have found that most stars are magnetic, but in very different ways. So different processes must be at work to generate and sustain these magnetic fields. We now know that these magnetic fields in turn have a big impact on how stars behave throughout their lives. They play an important role in the complex processes of star formation. And at the other end of stellar lives, they are vital to explaining the bizarre behavior of gamma ray bursts, pulses, and most extreme of all, magnetars. Astronomers are now eagerly studying stellar magnetic fields to assess their impact on the habitability of rocky exoplanets around them. A star's magnetic field can greatly affect the amount of radiation reaching a planet's surface. Intense flares on stars produce ultraviolet radiation that is hazardous to most forms of life, both primitive and advanced. Magnetism has effects throughout the universe, from the Earth's surface right out to the most distant exploding stars. 
polarization measurements help astronomers to understand the magnetic properties of our own star and all the other stars in the universe.